YouTube, it has been a busy day in the NFL. Basically, Tom Brady's four-game suspension has been reinstated, overturned, in federal pills court. Basically, they favored the NFL in this case. So his four-game suspension is, fact, active. Um, whether the league negotiates it on, on it or not, it's up to them. If the NFL and Tom Brady work out a deal. But as of now, he's going to be suspended for the first four games of the NFL season. This hurts the Patriots also because they actually lost a first-round pick and a, another pick in this NFL's draft. Secondarily, Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford actually wants out of Philadelphia. He actually demanded his trade via his agent. He informed the Philadelphia Eagles that he wants to be traded. Now, this is kind of weird because Sam Bradford is si signed a two-year, $35, $36 million contract. That's right. He's making $17.5 million to be, to be the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Sam Bradford hasn't been healthy throughout his NFL career. He hasn't put up any major statistical marks in his NFL career. Now, the Eagles understand they traded from number eight to number two. Um, and the second blockbuster trade, and they're going to get a quarterback either Wentz or basically um, Goff in this NFL's draft, both quarterbacks. So basically the Philadelphia Eagles traded from number 8 to number 2, and it looks like they're going to be taking a quarterback most definitely, and Sam Bradford wants a trade out. So that's kind of a little bit odd considering his salary. He's also guaranteed $22 million of that $35 million deal. Thirdly, Johnny Menzel. So Johnny Menzel, um, I made a video about this um, already. Johnny Menzel has been indicted. It's officially going to be released on Tuesday that he's going to be indicted. I basically made a video about this uh, yesterday. But um, Johnny Menzel is going to be indicted for domestic violence. Um, it's going to go down as assault with bodily injury. Um, based upon the ruling of the court, so Johnny Menzel, the judge favored that Johnny Menzel would have a protective order against his ex-girlfriend for the next two years until February 3rd, 2018. It looks like there's enough sufficient evidence. Now, Johnny Menzel, this is for a January incident that happened between him and his girlfriend. Allegedly, Johnny Menzel hit his girlfriend while driving a vehicle while he was at a bar in Dallas. And basically, when he was driving her home in Fort Worth, Texas, uh, she tried to get out of the vehicle, allegedly by the police report and by her report she got out of the vehicle and he put her back in and uh, hit her again and basically when she got out she um, said some things to the valet the likings of don't let him take me and you know um, other sorts of things that are in the police report again this is all allegedly so the cops did not arrest Johnny Menzel they pretty much let it up to a grand jury so they let it go to indictment so and the jury found that Johnny Menzel, there's enough evidence to go ahead and press charges against Johnny Menzel. And it's officially going to be for assault with bodily harm. It's going to be a misdemeanor charge. It's not a felony charge. So in most states and most statutes, that's basically considered simple assault. But anyway, guys, a lot of news in the NFL. The NFL draft is coming up. I'll be giving you updates with a lot of football teams so you can keep it up here. Like, comment, subscribe because I'll be keeping you up to date with the NFL draft and some overviews, especially with teams like the Dallas Cowboys, the NFC East, and I'll be keeping up that with the NFL draft coming up. But right now, that's the news um, of today and of this week that kicks off. You have Tom Brady, Johnny Menzel, Sam Bradford, all into one kind of circus, if you will. So Deflate Gate, Sam Bradford Hate Gate, and basically jo Johnny Menzel. Well, it's Johnny Menzel now. Um, so that's it. So guys, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week.